Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we will do now is we will access our all the articles on my API and display them in our homepage. Okay, so if I go to our pages folder and our index, this is the page right there. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we have to do to make this work. Now, the another thing is for those that are new to the channel, we have basically going to make use of Axios. So as you can see, we bring in Axios, the base URL, is localhost 8000 so if we go to the .env file right there as you can see localhost 8000 okay so that's the endpoint that we're going to hit right there okay so let's quickly set up our index page let's give us some room here so there's a couple of things we need to do so let's import our axios that we created so axios and we can say that from we need to go outside this folder go to the lib folder and inside that we have axios okay the next thing we need to import our head so i'm just going to actually have a shortcut for that in our age and the other one is we're going to have to import the link as well so import link in our l so right so we've got our link in there as well all right because the link what i want to do is if the person wants to read more they can just click it and just go to read obviously the whole article okay so that's got in there so i'm going to turn this into a fragment I'm going to remove this part right here and I'm just going to bring in the head uh, title so as you can see the title is just showing localhost 3000 right there and I want to change this to mozzie and I'm just going to say home just like that okay so as you can see it updates it right there now the next thing is before we continue we need to actually go and get all our articles Okay, so let's do that. Now, in order to access them, we're going to use get static props. So we can just say export um, a sync function, and we can just say get static props. Okay, like this. Now, the thing is, we need to basically hit this endpoint API v1 article. So let's do that. So, constant, I'm just going to create a response. Okay, so a response, and I'm going to equal that to an await, right? And then we can just say axios. Just remember the axios that we brought in right there from our lib folder. And we're just going to say get, and then we're just going to go to API. So forward slash API, forward slash v1, forward slash articles. Okay, so that's basically that. Now the thing is, I'm just going to set the articles to the response so i'm just going to say response dot data dot data okay because as you can see data right there right so be accessing it like that now the thing is we need to return this article so that we can access them right here okay so let's do that so return the prop right as an object and we can just say props and then we're just going to return articles like that okay so now that right there now the thing is if you don't want to do this part right yet okay so all you have to do now is you could have just done the response data data like this okay but since this and this is the same i don't have to do that i can just add it like this okay awesome stuff but normally people would have done is they would put the data like this okay and then i just set the articles to the data okay but if i made it articles right there okay right and i come at the bottom right here and i put it as articles like this it's kind of redundant so since it's the same you kind of have you don't have to add it like that okay just like that easy peasy now let's quickly go to our home right there and put this uh, prop receive the articles like this now we need to map over it okay so basically it's like we have to loop over that so in laravel what we would normally do in php we create for each loop but in here what we will do is we will map over it okay so just create two curly braces inside this we're going to say articles dot map okay like that and we inside here we're going to call it as article okay then we create an arrow function right so that's basically our first part run right there and then inside here i'm just going to create a div 
and I'm going to add a key. All right. So that way is for the app to basically track the different articles. So you kind of know. So article.id. Okay. So that's the unique ID that we're going to give it. All right. So let's quickly see if we can add an H1 in here just to check if we actually access that article. All right. So let's just put it an object in order to access it. It's article dot attributes so let me just show you so in here we're going to go to articles attributes okay title okay so let's do that so attributes all right so as you can see we got our title right there okay so that's basically how we're going to do everything in here i'm just going to style this a bit all right so i'm not going to for uh, to win a styling competition i just want to encapsulate the whole thing in a div or flex uh, flex call and a gap of two just between that so i'm just going to cut this part out so i'm not trying to win a design competition it's all for learning purposes so as you can see we just kind of have a nice little gap between every article right there Okay, so I'm just going to give this class name of text uh, to small, right, just a little bit smaller. Okay, All right, so I'm just doing this for you guys to easily see what I'm doing. So this is the main div that's basically um, wrapping around the whole articles that we loop over. And this is the individual div, as you can see right there, with its own styling and Right, so underneath this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a paragraph. And then for this part, I'm just going to add the article um, attribute. Oh, body. Okay, so let's just see that as you can see it right there. So I'm just going to give this a class as well. So class name, I'm just going to say text, text of small. Right, just like that. Okay, let me just give this a space Y of maybe two. Okay, just to give us some room there and in here i just want to add that a button as well so that a link actually so let's do a link so as you can see i brought the link in right there so inside here i'm just going to create an anchor tag right the href goes on the link I'm just going to put here read more all right so with, with regards to read more so if we click this right now we need to actually go to the individual articles. So if I click on any of them, so as you can see, I will be able to go to the individual article, but I will do that in the next episode where we can actually work on the read more button right here. This one, so where we can actually create that. So as you can see, we got our first part done right now. So as you can see, all the different articles being displayed right there. Right, so the next thing that we have to do is we obviously click the button, and view that individual article all right so that we will do in the next episode hopefully you guys found it this useful do all the youtube stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one adios